Hey, good evening, everybody. I get to talk a little bit about the Grateful Dead lyricists, Robert Hunter and John Perry Barlow. I um, discovered the Grateful Dead over 50 years ago, and uh, their words have been like my Bible, I would say. Whenever I'm going through something, there's just a great Grateful Dead lyric that seems to somehow fit into it, and I think it's the same way for a lot of people that are um, in the deadhead world. So um, they just have provided great words for us to live by. Um, a few choice lyrics. Uh, let me see. Uh, Once in a while you get shown the light in the strangest of places if you look at it right. If you get confused, listen to the music play. And um, what a long, strange trip it's been, right? <laughs> so um, the times that these guys wrote in was uh, certainly a time of discovery for, you know, their generation, my generation, our generation. Uh, this, the 60s and 70s were certainly a time of a lot of self-discovery. And they wrote about a wide range of subjects. Interestingly, a lot of songs about the American West. How many songs about horses and cowboys and card games and gamblers and um, drunkards and scoundrels and a lot of songs with trains in them. But also, there were a lot of songs that were about discovery and hope and uh, inspiration and um, the journey that we were on. Um, and it's interesting that those songs have provided some guidance, you know, to a certain extent as we've grown older. Uh, songs have been used in anything from high school yearbooks and college graduations to uh, weddings and to funerals. So um, when I got married five years ago to my wife, Fern, who I met actually 10 years ago today, this evening was our first time we met. There's a great lyric from Box of Rain. Maybe you'll find direction around some corner where it's been waiting to meet you. Yeah, I walked into a bar and met the love of my life. So, and sometimes it happens. I think that lyric talks about hope. It talks about an eternal sense of um, discovery and this sense that some things are just kind of meant to be if you just go with the flow. So. Um, that song, Box of Rain, was written by Robert Hunter for Phil Lesh because Phil's dad was dying of cancer and Phil had written his music out and Hunter just sat down and the lyrics just poured right out of him. That's such an amazing and mystical song. Um, it's interesting, The Grateful Dead, the name, as Jerry referred to, it's kind of creepy, it's kind of heavy. It's a, definitely the dead had that sense of dealing with tragedy. Uh, they wrote, uh, Hunter wrote the fantastic song, Bird Song, with its great lyrics. Um, um, dry your eyes on the wind, don't you cry, dry your eyes on the wind. He wrote it for Janis Joplin's death at age 27. Janis was very close to the band. And um, the Grateful Dead also had a lot of songs with some lyrics about caution. Uh, the song Uncle John's Band. Uh, when life looks like easy street, there is danger at your door. And another great lyric is, when you plant ice, you're gonna harvest wind. But at the same time, there are so many songs about an open heart and about discovery. Wake up to find out that you are the eyes of the world. Nothing left to do but smile, smile, smile. Don't give it up, you've got an empty cup that only love can fill. And uh, another one of my favorites, without love in the dream, it'll never come true. Hunter wrote three songs in one day on his first day in London. And uh, he wrote two of the songs that we're gonna hear in about a minute. He wrote Ripple and Broke Down Palace and the song To Lay Me Down all in one afternoon. He said uh, in an interview, kind of tongue in cheek, he said, I knew I was writing songs that would live forever. And I really do believe that they will as uh, the generations have been taking up the Grateful Dead. So anyway, 
Uh, thanks for coming out tonight. We're uh, looking forward to the rest of this fantastic album, American Beauty. Take care. Michael Sloan, everybody. We'll be out to sing in a little bit.